we're talking about the laws of the land. As a layman, what is it that you should know as far as the law is concerned? The times when we are caught off guard and you would love to be pardoned because you did not know. Mm -mm, the court does not know issues of I did not know, I, can I be forgiven? No way. So we invited Innocent Muramira, he's an advocate, just to enlighten us on some of, a few, not all of them, on some of the main, the key laws that he feels we all need to be aware of. Because you never know when it will affect you. Stay with us on Evolve Rwanda. Welcome back to the show. The hashtag is Evolve Rwanda. My name is Jackie and our guest is Innocent Muramira. He's an advocate. We invited him so that he could enlighten us on the laws that we need to be aware of as laymen. What is that that you should know when you're taking photos in an area that is prohibited <laughs> and you find yourself being taken someplace you are not aware at all. So I'm hoping that this show gets to, you know, enlighten you on such and even for you to just know your rights as well. Innocent, we're still talking about the, um, uh, the contract. Yeah, sure. Yeah. You had the talk about something. Originally. Yes, where the, where, where the lawyer cannot help me because after all, yeah. I'm the one that signed the contract. Yeah. You know, mo most of these days, I think it is, a, it is now a practice. We all sign contracts, then we take, we normally sign contracts before the notary. Mm -hmm. Give them authenticity and the legal binding effect. Now, the, there is what we call a doctrine of estoppel. If you have signed the document, you are stopped from denying what is inside. Mm -hmm. So it, there is a presumption that he, you signed what you knew. You know? So You didn't have a gun. Yeah, you know, too. it was uh, free consent. Yeah. You went willingly. You signed what you knew. Uh, uh, recently, I was talking to someone who was signing a contract, and I'm like, okay, sign. If you have read what is inside. Mm. Yes. Is, is the lawyer allowed to read for me? Absolutely. Many people today, mm. they have family lawyers. Many people, they have company lawyers. Okay. People so those people can read on my behalf. Have legal advisors. Why? A legal advisor will prevent you, Jackie, from doing what is not in accordance with the law. True. If you are an employer, you have to know what does the law of 2018, the mm. liberal say. It's amendment. It's a ministerial order of 2020, what does it talk about on gross misconduct? Mm -hmm. You may find you are firing innocent basing on emotions. The legal advisor will be like, stop. You're going to make innocent thrive for another one year while mm -hmm. it's not working for you. So I would really think that, one, employers, employees, even the whole public, please, sign contracts. Don't just look at innocent the way he's talking, Jack, the way she's dressed. That mm. be like, no, this is the most humble person. This is our this one can be trusted. This is our A B C D. No, please have your documents, your contract signed. Get your copy. You are the other party gets your copy, and please sign them from the notary. Mm -hmm. Some contracts like for the sale of car, sale of land, those ones, because at one time that this more money you ought to have paid to the notary can result in to any other thing you can while well, trying to avoid well. paying so, that please sign contracts you'll be on the right part of the law mm. even proving is easier rather than arguing air and someone is like this person is just concocting facts and the like so yeah. great our next uh, the next mm. law is the marital one yeah, yeah. is that the right term Mm, is it marriage and divorce or is it what is it, it called? Is, uh, there is a law, matrimonial regime. Then okay. 2016, there is another one, mm. a law on family and person. We have a lot of divorce cases, and I say yeah. that because I talk to quite many people. There's always somebody going through something related to marriage or related to divorce. Such cases are many. If someone is getting into a marriage now, what would you want them to know? Yeah. Uh, We're not saying you're going to get married and get divorced a, a tomorrow. I'm not married. Oh, okay. So I, I, I don't want you're a lawyer. I don't, I don't know what happens in whatever. I'm not married. <laughs> so, uh, w w what we should know is the age of majority in Rwanda is 18. The age of marriage is 21. The age of majority it's is 18. 18. The age of marriage is 21. 21. There is a reason why there is that gap. What's the reason? There is a presumption that those three years, Innocent and Jackie, 
they already know what they are going into mm -hmm. and they have capacity to enter into the contract because under the Rwandan law marriage is defined as a contract yes so and uh, how does divorce come in is that a good definition of marriage though uh, you know a lot of drafters they do their thing <laughs> because a contract can always be uh, be see, breached marriage <laughs> marriage has several definitions there is a it has been defined by uh Halsbury, there is a Cambridge, there is a Black's Law Dictionary. Mm. All those dictionaries have mm. defined marriage. It depends on the way you define the one mm. that falls in your vicinity. Okay. So what, what I would say is, like any other contract, breaching any contract, you don't go to prison, like as we stated. Mm -hmm. So I really think when marriage is no longer working or when the parties do not fulfill their obligation, that contract is... It is inevitable. Divorce is inevitable. Mm -hmm. And now you would find, yes, there is divorce. How do I get to divorce? Mm. There, there are many grounds of divorce. There is adultery, there is a cruelty, there is desertion, there is a failure to provide for home equipment, food and stuff. There is a failure to... If I have failed because I don't have money... That is justifiable. Okay. But where are we going? If you don't have money to buy food, what do you expect? The politics in the in the family. Mm. You man, you can't buy food. You lady A B C D. Now the cruelty will come in. Mm -hmm. Those verbal exchange. Because Jackie, imagine your husband does not bring any kaung, any plate of posho. Mm. What, which discussion are you going to talk about? The kids mm. are crying. Mm, there's Lack no beans, there's no posho. Really? Mm. You still have love in the house? But yes, it can be there. We might have love, but no peace. You agreed. Yeah. Now, if you see issues regarding uh, GBV, those domestic violence, there is issue regarding non cohabitation of marriage for 12 months. Mm. Do you think your husband or the lady will wait for you? What is non cohabitation? If you don't mm -hmm. have sex for 12 months oh. within a marriage, do you think someone. That's will what wait? it's called. Yes, non cohabitation mm. of marriage. So, yeah, if you're married and you've not... And you are not <laughs> giving your obligation. Not knowing each other. Uh, <laughs> yes. You know? I think that's what my pastor would say. <laughs> so all mm. those stuff, you find even when innocent has been convicted for an offense mm. that is likely to, to reduce his or her partner, mm -hmm. and that offense has to be above six months. Okay. Imagine... Today there is a case opened against innocent and then the whole family is in the mess. Mm -hmm. Then the lady, the lady or the husband can go and file for divorce. Mm -hmm. Without saying all that, what are we, why do we enter into marriage? We enter into marriage to, for, I think, for lifetime companionship and there's something like that. It should be that. That's how it should be. But why you find that things are not working, all those facts I've talked about. You also don't force it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now... Is then let me ask, mm. Innocent, why do the men feel like, especially here, the, the ones I have interacted with in Rwanda, a lot of them in Kigali, let me not say Rwanda because I've not uh, talked to someone outside, the ones I talk to in Kigali feel like uh, the law does not favor them, it favors, the, the one for divorce, see. divorce cases, they're not favored, when see. they get to court everything see. works yeah. in the woman's yeah, I favor. I understand, I understand where you're coming yeah. from. Yeah. The issue is like here. Yeah. When we are going to get married, there are what we call matrimonial regimes. Mm -hmm. You select which matrimonial regime you are going to be ma to get into marriage. Then there is a uh, one which is community where you share property equally. The one which you had before and the one which you will get mm -hmm. at a later stage when mm -hmm. you're together. So it's such a scenario. When people, when people are getting married, are they told about those different yeah, uh, regimes? Course, they are they are, educated they about are, them? Yeah, they are sisters that those uh, sectors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. But uh, as we've already said, even when we are in primary schools and secondary schools, there are people who could take things for granted. There are those people who go there, they are taught and they get the basics. And there are those ones who will be like, ah, these are just things, the usual thing. But now we find that uh, gentleman X has married a lady Y. Out of nowhere, the things we have talked about, those grounds, one mm -hmm. of them has appeared. They would be like, I'm um, divorcing. And at the time of divorce, they don't look who is wrong. The, the law does not look at who is wrong, who brought the issue. 
on the same property will be shared equally. Mm. I had my a small house in Jikondo. You had your car. Now they are saying that car. It should be cut into two. Because if, <laughs> at, at that time, <laughs> even the loans you acquire will be split, will be shared. Of, yes, for both of you. So you find that a gentleman X, like that a taxi driver of yours, mm. if things went like that, yeah, because he, he was actually crying because he, he had to sure sell his car and his house in order to share the money. Someone struggled and bought a caprot in the village and then it is registered on innocent but now even the other lady. Mm. So you find that those are the things men would look at. Mm. Two, issues regarding custody. Custody of children. Mm. You find that the lady, the, normally I'm, no, I'm not against this, but you find that some ladies push, push hard for custody, and then they want to put the, the husband who is already vulnerable. Someone will be like, I want you to pay 200,000. Every month. Every month. You know, my salary is 300. Will I really manage? But remember, the law still says that parents share equally the capacity to protect and to contribute for the welfare, for the welfare of their children. Mm. You know? So, you find that some parents will feel like, my friend, things are not working. Then there is another, for people who don't know the law, even some lawyers recently, there is a lawyer who was saying, yeah, you know, I have a case, now this lady has been given children, she's want." Today the law says, previously, even Jack, I think you knew that children who are below six mm -hmm. years would automatically go with their mom. The law here is different. Mm -hmm. According to the amendment of 2020, mm -hmm. it removed that. It is court that has the capacity to determine the parent that has the best interest. So a five-year-old can be left with a father? With a father, depending on the best interest of the child. Okay, there are not that many fathers who know how to take care of children. Uh, even they always what, need the mother to help. what we look at, do innocent has time for... To for, for the children? Mm. For homework, mm -hmm. ABCD. But, yeah, Playtime. As, like, as <laughs> we've already said, some men will feel that the other party is pushing them only for financial gain. Mm. But yet knowing that if I'm getting home at 7 or 8, these kids have come back from school at a certain period. So they need that parental thing. But uh, please, mm. one would say divorce is not like uh, taking a, a spoon of honey. Because there are few families which will remain intact. After that. And divorce has a negative impacts on the children themselves. And even you people, the ones who are divorced. Mm. So because you see, the kid is going to grow from this time. Even though Jack, you're going to get visitation rights. Yeah. But someone there's, there'll you still like be something six missing. Six hours on your kids for sure. Mm. So and then, we are human beings. We can't take our emotions. So I would largely say, if there is a chance of reconciling those things, please reconcile. Mm. And where it is, uh, it is not easy. Divorce, another thing, it is expensive. Hiring a lawyer in, in a divorce case, it is not just taking a cup of tea. And divorce is time consuming, unless you consider the joint one. Mm. Where you sit with your lawyer, or you sit with your, the other party who is divorcing, you'll be like, this is what we agree. That, that will be, be easier fast. and Easy. less expensive. But still the consequences are the same. It will yeah. be less expensive, easier, you will get it very fast, but still. But the effect will still the be the same. Will be the effect on the children, yeah. on the relatives. So even uh, the family, the family has to break down. Mm. But as mm. we say, one should not be left to suffer the expense because divorce tarnishes the family. How about someone who has been powered the asset? Mm. Someone whose hand has been cut off. Yeah. So, so long as your rights are at stake and there is an infringement, please seek legal redress. Mm. Where around us? Is it the sector office? Is it the, mm. the Mudugudu chairperson? Who should we talk to, mm. to educators about what is wrong and what is right? Yeah, sure. And I, who to go to mm. when there is a certain issue? You see, Jackie, it is a community responsibility. If you see anything happening in some, someone's uh, family, even though people will take it uh, in a bad way, but it is 
upon us the community in uh, divorce and marriage matters the Murenges can advise the parties and the like but at the time of divorce my friend the red line has been drawn parties will run to lawyers and courts mm. where it is possible they can go back together where it mm. is not possible you know what happened yeah property has to be shared that's right in the criminal cases you can go to authorities. They yes, rib. that's what I wanted to know, like yeah. generally. Mm. You can go to RIB, you can go to NPP, National Prosecution Authority, it's and one stop center. Mm. Then in these other 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 cases, civil, you can go to these other institutions like Rwanda Bridges to Justice, Legal Aid Forum, I think Marsh at the district, they can give you legal advice. And I th those entities they don't charge. Okay. You can call them for legal advice. Then also, even as you can approach us. The lawyers, the lawyer advocates. Will, the lawyer will be like, let me do this as pro bono. Let me give you legal advice you won't pay. Or let me mm. do your case as a pro bono case. Depending on the facts and depending on Jackie's capacity to pay. A certain millionaire won't come seeking for Free. pro bono. Mm. So you will see the capacity of someone. And then you see also the gravity of the matter. They will be like, okay. I can this can be pro bono, yeah. Sure. Okay, so that is by the time there is a case that you're mm -hmm. trying to pursue. Mm -hmm. But before then, you know what they tell us, prevention is better than cure. Mm -hmm. For somebody who just wants to be educated. Mm -hmm. yeah. For someone who just wants to be educated. Uh, can they educated? come to a lawyer? Of course. Okay. That's why I would say, having a lawyer's number in your phone mm. is more like having a number of the doctor in your phone. Because you can ask questions and Anytime they'll help you. someone can come and is bringing you a document to sign and you don't mm. know. Mm. People today call me innocent. They have sent me. Someone sent this me on WhatsApp and be like, first to read this, should I sign? Okay. And I'm like, stop. Please sign. Mm. Because I'm preventing him from paying at a certain period or suffering the repercussions of having not requested any person in the legal fraternity for help. To advise them. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming through. So it is it is yeah, please remind us again. Uh, ignorance, ignorance of law. Of law. No Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> ignorance of law has no defense. There are a lot of material that you can read online, but also, you know, set aside, you can talk to a lawyer. If it's not him, it could be somebody else. It could be somebody in the family that is legally aware. It could be the sector head or you know, somebody, just go and talk to someone. They will guide you or direct you to the right person. We hope you picked a thing or two from this conversation. We'd love you to be fully aware of your rights. When you're trying to advance them, do not step on other people's rights or infringe on them. Thank you so much for having joined us for this edition of Evolve Rwanda. Subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the subsequent episodes that we will have. We do wish you well. God bless you.